of our pre-season and then in-season. So we have um, October individual four-week program where mm. they – it's here's a program and it's based off like, okay, it's optional, but like if you want to be in the best shape, you've got to do it for four weeks. Mm. Eat well, all that kind of stuff for four weeks and you smash yourself. And then November is officially like in the club as a team together because of our contracts. Um, yeah, okay. It starts from November and then – and you smash yourself November. So technically it's like it's October, November, December, three months of um, yeah. conditioning and footy and all that kind of stuff and you transition in loads and stuff like that. And then we have two weeks or oh, it's up to eight days, I think, off between Christmas and New Year's. Oof. So eight That's days, a, you can fit yeah. a lot of things in eight days in terms of um, doing your work, uh, oh, the program that we get given as our transition program. Um, and to keep us on, on the wagon kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. um, it's hard when you're finishing up the year, everyone's winding down and you're kind of starting. Um, so you've got Christmas, you've got New Year's, so two big days, nights. And it's like, I've got to do this hard work now and then I can have Christmas and I can refuel and, refuel and go again for the next three days. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I... People look at it differently, but I look, okay, well, what day is Christmas? Does it fall on a run day? So if it, I think this year, oh, Christmas just gone. It fell on a rain day, oh, run day, sorry. So I was like, okay, well, I'll tr- I'll change my run day to mm. Monday or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday um, and my weight's on the run days mm-hmm. just because, of, well, I want to have time with my family, but I'm still doing the work. Yeah, So. You know, we've got to try and figure out those balances as well because it's such a um, festive kind of season. Um, but it's we've still got to stay very mm. focused in tunnel vision. If you had it your way, mm. put aside like contracts or whatever, yep. and the time they you have to be at the club, whatever. Yep. Having your way, would you want more time to prepare for the season, or do you need more time to prepare, or would you much rather have less? And uh, have- works hand in hand. So if our season's <clears throat> longer, need a longer preseason. Yeah. Um, but right now where pre- our preseason hasn't changed and we're going in, so teams will be playing 12 games, and 10, 11, yeah, 12 games if they make a grand final, 12 mm. games, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're traveling and all that kind of stuff in season, it's a lot more, it's a lot different. Um, and you only have three months of preseason. So 12, 12 weeks and then three months of preseason, it's not really much of a difference. So preseason hasn't changed, but our games are extending. Getting longer. Getting longer. So okay. you need more time. Whereas at the start of 2017, we had the same preseason what we've got now for seven games. Okay. Right. So which kind of balanced itself out a bit. Um, but now the games, are we're getting more games. Our preseason hasn't changed. We need to start earlier. We start at the exact same time as what we did five years ago. So it's hard because you, you would know, as, obviously, as, as an S&C, you build – Boys get a steady build and they just come straight up, nice, easy. Might have a couple of, mm. you know, setbacks, but they can still build quite nicely. Whereas us is like, if you're lucky, you get October and then bang, it's like straight vertical. Like our load just goes straight through the roof. And then that's when we get soft tissue injuries and then you set back and people mm. don't report them sometimes. So then it's even further back. So I think in terms of load, um, and the time that we're given is not enough Okay. to answer your question in yeah. a long sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm. So, yes, right. we need more time. Yeah. Mm. Time. More time. Start earlier. Do you think they'll be received posit- positively amongst the – if you were to you get paid them, for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, we – October right? is we don't get paid during that October. To do – that's that individual mm. – that's off your own back. So it's optional. Yeah. So if it's optional, if it's class is optional, AFL don't see it as the club making you do something without being paid. That's how we kind of get away with it. That's how we do our academy and all that kind of thing. So, okay. Yeah. you know, here's a program. Do it if you want to be the best player you want to be. And of course, yes, you do. And right. you do. So you do it. Some girls might not do every session because... Whatever. Either they can't do it or, you know, there's one day can't, can't be fucked. So, and that's hard sometimes when, you're, yeah. when your sole focus is just to get 
right. you know, hit the ground running in November. That's your focus. Mm. Is that how they, the club kind of they relay that message to you? It's like we're not like gradually building up. It's just as soon as you come in November, it's go time? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Like it's an introduction period for two weeks where it's like okay, um, yeah. uh, we have like education. This is what the next 12 weeks is going to look like. We have um, like uniforms and all that kind of. Mm-hmm. It's just such a, yeah pulling teeth sometimes for someone who's been it for so long but i mean five years is not that long but um it's a significant time. yeah um so yeah it's just it doesn't it i don't know i think i'm just used to it yeah okay. i think someone coming into it's like whoa it's like a slap mm. in the face you still start with 2k do you start with that on actually we haven't we didn't this season actually oh, no we did two 1k efforts two 1k efforts yeah so you get eight minutes to do the- oh yep that one? Now I'm feeling it there, yeah, yeah, so we figured, like, obviously, a lot of clubs still, I think every club does it other than us, the 2K time trial. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hate it. Like, I'm not a distance runner anyway, but um, I'd rather do yo yo tests for sure. We did, we did a, have you heard of the 3015? Yeah, I hate yeah, that one. We did that one this year with the boys. Yeah, not a yo yo? Yeah. I like the 3015 just because I can program a bit better off those numbers as well yeah, for okay. anaerobic threshold and, and, yeah. um, I think a bit more change of direction as well. And actually the effort, like you have to go up and back sometimes that 40 minute effort twice mm. and before you get a break, which mm. is like that rebound. It's probably more suitable for guys because of the distance they cover. Mm. So that, hence why we don't do at West Coast, we don't do just 2K flat because I'm not Andrew and Gaff. They do a 2K time trial, but I'm not, I'm, you know what I mean? Like he will run over yeah. 12Ks, I reckon, a game. Oh, more. I Way think. more. Yeah. We had a guy running over 16. Yeah. So he runs bloody ridiculous. I don't think he, I think he comes off once or twice. That's it. That's in a game. Same. That's insane. Yeah. So um, he will be doing a 2K time trial and runs this much. He would run 2K nonstop in a game. You know? I mean, not all boys are going to be doing that, but it's majority. It, one size fits all almost. Why were we testing something that we don't run as far? Mm. In a in a way, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a good point. Um, I think ours is shorter, but it's more repeat. So yeah, um, the seven. Yeah, oh, sorry. So minutes. you do it in four minutes. You get four yeah, minutes yeah. off, yeah, and then yeah. I'm used to. I've done the one. You do three one k's on the seven minute. Mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Um. Yeah. So we do that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what any other club does, but previous clubs have been. Yeah, it's two. Do you strength yeah. testing as well? Yep. Uh, we do it differently though. We do it in our program. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's just kind of managed. Yeah, like we don't just do like one day. One day it's like, I mean, that's things. awesome because you can get around everyone and it's like a mm. big hype fest. But mm. um, I don't mind strength testing, actually. I do get a kick out of it. Yeah. What are your numbers? Here we go. Better, do you want to hear my best ever? Or yeah, my, best ever. My we'll best go. ever. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, okay. So my best bench press was 75. Oh, um, yeah. But last season it was 65 and a half. So I've gone oh, down a bit. Yeah. My max squat was 110. And my, was that to a box? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Squat and then box. trap bar, 125. Ooh. That's nothing. Nice. So, like, Michaela Bowen's... Uh, have you... Do yeah. You know? Yeah, so she's a twig. She she would lift as much as me. Not upper body, but yeah, yeah. lower body. She's she's a beast. Strength of, uh, strength of weight. Yeah, so... That's um, the goal. Yeah. The lift of body I was weight. top 10, so I was happy with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then vertical jump. My, I think mine was higher than Janzi and Paz, our ruckman. Oh. Yeah, I played ruck in this, the first derby. In, Did I played, you? Yeah, I played ruck twice this season, yeah. Because I can, like, can I jump, can, jump. yeah, jump physical and, physical, and physical, yeah. So I just compete. I don't necessarily hit. And I'm left-handed when I hit with my ruck taps. Spoiling oh. and ruck tap, I'm left-handed. But I'm right-footed and right-handed with everything That's else. That's weird. And I eat left-handed. What's the other foot? Yeah, opposite way. <laughs> yeah. Fun facts. <laughs> there you go. We'll put that up as a promo. Yeah, fun facts with me. Um, but yeah. I think we're um, do, do so vertical jump, and that's that's. Yeah, we do power. one with the hands on the hips with the pad. Oh yeah, the yeah, the um kind of move jump. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we do drop dump jump as well. Oh, okay. Um, I hate that one. Kind of gives me a sore back. <laughs> Jarring it. Oh, you have to jump it's off like, the box yeah, and land on the you, floor. You drop off and then quick. Yeah. That's yeah. A bit, so that's I understand the purpose of it, but it's not very comfortable. Reactive. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. It's interesting. Do you do the mid thigh pull? Do you have like the? No, I need the girls that are coming back from an injury. I'm pretty sure do that. Mid thigh pulls. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure. I know we had them in our program, but we didn't test them. Okay. Not that 